Kroger, really known as Morris and Lowe and Cohen, rented a bungalow at 45 Cranley Drive in Ryslip in 1954. They said they were booksellers and made friends with their neighbours locally. They claimed to be from Canada but really were from America. The Russians, in the form of the KGB, fitted them up with their fake IDs. Hello, my name's Peter Kroger. I was born in New York City on the 17th of May, 1910. It was great fun being in America, but my parents always thought that it was a horrible place because they really wanted to go back home and they never could. Capitalism fell straight on its ass in the early 30s. So the only way forward was communism. So that's what I did. And we settled in a suburb called Rice Slip. And that's where we are today. The KGB were keen at that time to learn more about Britain's submarine fleet. And recruited a Russian, Gordon Lonsdale, to work with them. The intern found Harry Horden, who had a girlfriend who worked at the Admiralty Portland. She stole information and passed it to Horton, who in turn passed it to Lonsdale. The Kroger's role in that was to send this information to Russia. It was said that Horton was very good at spending money to go to the police. MI5 decided to monitor the activities of these individuals. This was done from the side bedroom window of a house occupied by Bill and Ruth Serge. Good afternoon. My name is Mr. Stewart and I work at MI5. I did very well at Eton and uh, went to Cambridge on a scholarship to study modern languages. I specialised in Russian and French. And I was approached by someone from MI5 who had heard something about my work for the Foreign Office and my knowledge of languages. And ever since then I've been working mainly to find out as much as I possibly can about the workings of Russian intelligence. My name is Bob Jackson. I was brought up in North London and became very good friends with Barbara, who actually became my wife many years later. We have very good friends that live across the road, Helen and Peter Kroger. We have been approached, rather surprisingly, by MI5. Our house is to be used for surveillance. It does appear that our very, very good friends, Helen and Peter, are involved in some way. Now, based on these facts, Hugh Whitemore dramatised the story as a stage play called Act of Lies. Thank you.